Suman and her little brother Rahul tend their family's goats every day from early to late. Most other children their age go to school. Sometimes the two can take a rest and dream a little. I wish I could fly and touch the sky. I would come back and share my joy with everybody in the village. That village is Ulana in the Indian state of Rajasthan. Half the people here can't read or write. Among women and girls, the rate of illiteracy is 70%. Munbara Devi, the mother of Suman and Rahul, never went to school. Although she needs her children to work, she dearly hopes they can get an education and break out of this life of poverty. I have goats and they have to be grazed, but I wish my children could go to school. They must go to school, because if they study, they won't be compelled to work the way I do. That's what I wish for. This evening school should help that wish come true. It's the only place in the village that has electric lighting and it's solar powered. After a long day's work, children come here for two hours. They learn to read, write and do sums. The teacher addresses issues from their daily lives. In maths, how to work out the amount of feed animals need. In biology, what kind of nutrition goats need. The children tell me they want to learn. They want to learn more and more. In the past, the parents didn't want their children to go to school, but they've changed their minds. Now they see how important school is, and they say that the children should study more. The Barefoot NGO runs more than 150 such solar bridge night schools in poor rural communities in India. They're equipped with solar lamps and solar-powered tablet computers, which are made nearby at Barefoot's headquarters. Barefoot is based 60 kilometers away from Ulana in Tilonia. The NGO is all about solar energy. Women from villages in Africa, Asia and Latin America come here to learn how to make solar lamps and to repair solar panels. This all Check. The sun doesn't discriminate between rich and poor. It gives light to everybody. The sun is always there to produce electricity. Power from the mains is different. If you can't pay your bill, it stops. Solar equipment is a one-off investment and is a real comfort. It causes no problems at all. The course lasts six months. Basic physics and practical skills like soldering are on the curriculum. The Indian government and commercial enterprises fund the training. More than 2,200 women have graduated from the Barefoot College so far. Without light, my children can't do their homework, and when it gets dark, they have to go to sleep. When I come home, we're going to have solar lamps. Physical exercise is also on the curriculum. It helps the women get in touch with their own needs and see themselves not only as mothers and toiling farmers, but also as women who self-confidently chart their own course. The graduates are known as solar mamas. I light my community. We all know that darkness is not the best thing. So bringing light to the community is a whole big achievement for me. Isabel Mora Jimenez from Mexico is looking forward to installing a lamp for her six children to do their homework by. I have no idea what I'll be able to earn now. What matters is that I've learned so much. People at home will see that I can do good work. It's been quite a sacrifice to come here to learn something new. When the solar mamas go home, they can help bring solar power to their communities and light up the evenings so that children can study late and perhaps look forward to a better life than their parents. <laughs>